Today we're gonna to be making a absolutely delicious orange chicken bake. So I started with some diet orange soda. We wanna use about half a cup and you wanna pour that into a bowl that you're going to make the sauce with. We're going to add some chicken broth. Um, this is just regular, I, I'm using an organic chicken broth and we're going to add one half cup right in with our orange soda. Next ingredient, we're gonna move on to some soy sauce. I have pre-measured about a quarter cup. So let's go ahead and pour that in there as well. Next, we wanna add just some regular store-bought hoisin sauce. You don't have to make this from scratch, you can just get it pre-made. We're gonna add a quarter cup of that. Put it right in our sauce mixture. It already smells so good. Yeah, I, I love this dish. Brown sugar is a key ingredient in my opinion, and we have, let's plop that right in. We have a quarter cup of brown sugar. We're going to use a whole teaspoon of ground ginger. This is regular, you can find this with your uh, regular or organic spices. And then, you know me and I love my garlic, any excuse. So I'm gonna use a heaping amount of garlic in there, of, but you can use about one teaspoon is what the recipe calls for. You wanna just grab a regular fork and just whisk that all together. This is going to be the sauce for our orange chicken bake. Okay, let's go ahead and set this aside while we make and mix our dry ingredients. Next, we're gonna go ahead and mix together our dry ingredients. So this is one half cup of regular all-purpose flour. Next, we're going to add just some regular cracked pepper. Now, this is kind of to taste, so however much you feel you want in your dish. I like, you know, I like a strong seasoned dish. So I am always very generous with my salt and with my pepper. So let's go ahead and put some salt in there as well. More garlic, the better in my opinion. So let's use some garlic powder and just do a generous amount of that. And now it is optional to use onion powder in this step. I personally cannot eat onions, so I don't put that in, but this is when you would add that into the recipe. So let's go ahead and whisk that all together. And we're actually now going to take our chicken breasts and coat it in our flour and dry ingredient mixture. So make sure you have some tongs to handle your chicken. Let's just go ahead and coat that Get it nice and covered in that flour. Now that we have our chicken all coated and ready, let's go ahead and add that sauce that we made earlier with the orange soda, the chicken broth, brown sugar. Let's go ahead and just pour that directly right on top of our chicken. I went ahead and chopped up a full zucchini, but you can go ahead and add what other veg whatever vegetables you like to go with your dinner. We're gonna go ahead and cover this with some aluminum foil. just to make sure that those veggies don't crisp up too much on top. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in our oven. It's been preheated, we're at 375, and we're gonna bake this for about 30 minutes. Now that it's been in the oven for a little bit, go ahead, we're gonna remove the foil, and we're gonna actually bake it for an additional 15 to 20 minutes without the foil so that that chicken and those veggies can fully bake. All right, so to finish up our orange chicken bake, we're gonna start off with some cornstarch. Let's use one tablespoon of cornstarch. And then we're gonna add one tablespoon cold water. And this is gonna make a slurry, which is going to help thicken up our orange, our orange sauce for our chicken. So let's just pour that right on top of our, right on where the sauce is. And then just use a fork to kind of stir that on up. 
All right, now we're gonna put this back in the oven for the last time, bake it at an additional about five to 10 minutes. All right, straight from the oven, it smells oh incredible. We're gonna go ahead and dish this up. I have just some leftover rice from the other night. So let's go ahead and put that chicken right on top. And get a nice big hooping spoon, spoonful of the sauce to pour over. Wow, if only you could smell this through your screen right now. Let's get a bite with some rice, a little zucchini. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Very good.